ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for the main event of MPWF SmackDown. It is the MPWF Championship matchup, and Tommy Douglas opens this belt out with some punches to Apollo, and now sends him flying to the outside the ring. Tommy Douglas obviously has a game plan, and his game plan is to keep on hitting. He's going to keep on attacking Apollo, not going to give him a second to breathe. Look at Tommy Douglas go. Irish Whip sends Apollo into the crowd, and now Tommy Douglas just punching the living crap out of Apollo. Douglas knows exactly what he has to do tonight. He knows exactly what he has to do to win this matchup to become the MPWF champion, but Apollo fights back. Apollo, not only is he vicious, not only is he a brute in the ring, but he has so much endurance. He can take so much pain and then dish it back and pay it back double like Rage, the Pokemon move. And Apollo drops a leg on Tommy Douglas. And now goes for the cover. Here we go. First cover of the match. Tommy Douglas kicks out before a one. Apollo's going to have to do more than that to pin Tommy Douglas. And I definitely don't think that Apollo, you know, underestimated Tommy Douglas in this match whatsoever. As he found out when he faced Tony Sparks, Tony Sparks gave Apollo one hell of a contest. And Tommy Douglas reverses back with a knee to Apollo in the face. And now goes for the count. One, two, no. Apollo gets the shoulder up. Tommy Douglas got a quick knee there, which Apollo didn't even see. This crowd in Canada, loving everything that Tommy Douglas is doing, booing everything that Apollo is doing. But Apollo reverses Douglas, and now sets up, and yes, he connects with Snake Eyes. Now he runs into the turnbuckle, and oh, what a vicious clothesline by the MPWF champion Apollo, almost beheading Tommy Douglas. Two, and no, almost gets a three count for that exchange there by Apollo. Douglas needs to avoid getting hit in the face with those clotheslines. And now, he go, now he's punching away at the challenger and current internet champion of the MPWF. And Apollo is saying that this one is going to be over. And these fans here in Saskatchewan, Canada are not going to be happy if this matchup ends this sudden. And now Apollo picking Tommy Douglas back and now punching him right in the jaw. Now kicking him. Now punching him again. Apollo is in complete control of this matchup, but Tommy Douglas fights back, and there we go with a swinging DDT there. Float over DDT by Tommy Douglas. Douglas will not die. He will not die like Matt Hardy. Now Tommy Douglas Irish whips Apollo into the turnbuckle, now fires back with a clothesline. And Apollo, uh, now Tommy Douglas net breakers Apollo taking him down to the mat, and Douglas shoots straight up to the, ra the rope. Look at this. Non-stop at action. Tommy Douglas is going to keep hitting Apollo with everything he's got. And now a spinning elbow off the top rope, which catches Apollo. And now goes for the count. One, two. And no, Apollo gets the shoulder up. Look at Douglas fighting back. And now a beautiful power slam there by Apollo. Apollo ending Tommy Douglas' momentum with a sudden move. With one move, just changes the face of this matchup. And now a snap man into an arm breaker. And now look at this, working out the arm, the back, and the chest area of Tommy Douglas as Apollo. Apollo is so vicious, he's so powerful. Tommy Douglas, though, is going to have to use his speed and technical prowess. And that move right there, float over DDT to stop Apollo. And Douglas needs to stop wasting time with the crowd and catch back on to Apollo. His game plan was working, and he needs to keep at it. And what a clothesline there by Tommy Douglas. Tommy Douglas has headed his dream. His dream since he was two years old was to become the MPWF champion and he has an opportunity here in his native country of Canada against Apollo and now Tommy Douglas stomping away at Apollo and now drives the knee into the jaw of Apollo and now he picks him up again and now another punch Douglas non-stop at action is what he needs to do I keep saying it and he keeps doing it and it's working we could see a new MPWF champion as this match is all said and done and now Douglas dropping a fist right into the face of Apollo and this crowd is loving every bit of Tommy Douglas here tonight in Saskatchewan Canada and now a kick to the gut again Tommy Douglas now Irish whipping Apollo I don't think I've seen Apollo get beat this bad since being on YouTube and Tommy Douglas now with a drop kick taking down Apollo maybe he has found the weakness in the Greek God of War maybe it is that you just have to keep hitting and keep hitting jab away at stuff until he starts weakening down and that's what Tommy Douglas has done and now Tommy Douglas setting Apollo up in a precarious position and here he comes superplex off the top rope by Tommy Douglas and he connects and will Douglas go for the pinfall and yes he does he goes for the cover one two three no Apollo gets the shoulder up 
just we almost had a new MPWF champion and oh Apollo throws Tommy Douglas around like a rag doll there was nothing technical about that he just picked Tommy Douglas up by his neck and launched him in a circle and I'm missing the clothesline again and Tommy Douglas retaliates back with an arm drag Tommy Douglas still favoring that neck that sidewalk slam which he grabbed his neck with was vicious and unorthodox by Apollo I don't think I've seen him use that yet since being here on YouTube and now another flying elbow connects taking down the MPWF champion and Apollo dives back with another fist drop and now Tommy Douglas going for the count again one two three these quick covers wearing down the champion keeping him down is what Tommy Douglas needs to do to win this championship matchup and now Oh, back body drop. High angle back body drop there by Tommy Douglas taking down Apollo. And now Irish Whip sending Apollo into the turnbuckle. And now punching Apollo in the face. Tommy Douglas. Is he going to be setting up for a snake eyes of his own? Apollo's going face first into the turnbuckle. Tommy Douglas in complete control. And these fans are loving every single minute of it. And now Tommy Douglas just looking at what he's done so far. And now a clothesline taking down Apollo. And oh, oh wait, wait, oh here comes the multiple German suplexes, multiple German suplexes by Tommy Douglas. Boom! Dropping Apollo on the back of his neck and head, and Tommy Douglas needs to just set off for the Douglas bomb, and we could have a new MPWF champion, and oh! Apollo just stops him right in his tracks with a punch to the face. A swift right hook, shades of Chuck Liddell, and now Apollo springboarding back into the ropes, and now a net breaker taking down Tommy Douglas. Apollo, this is what we're saying, he can endure so much, and then he pays it back double. When you piss off the MPWF champion, he just becomes a completely different person, which he is now. He just, look at this, there's no technical, technical ability in these moves. He's just picking Tommy Douglas up and throwing him around the ring. He's hitting him as hard as he can. Haymakers left and right. And now, Apollo, oh, missing the clothesline. He's trying to hit Douglas with that clothesline because it is a debilitating clothesline. It's a clothesline that will surely knock you out. And Apollo back in control and another netbreaker taking down the challenger for this championship matchup. What a main event we've seen thus far on SmackDown. And now Apollo setting up for a springboard suplex and it takes down the internet champion Tommy Douglas. And no he doesn't go for the cover. Apollo wants to teach Tommy Douglas a lesson and here he goes. No misses misses whatever he was trying to do there and now hits another net breaker on Tommy Douglas these net breakers seeming to be highly effective and Apollo saying that this one is over and we'll be back for the rest of this main event here on Smackdown